Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to everyone. My name is Hanin. I'm working in an occupation therapist. I'm working in spine cord injury unit. Today we are going to represent the management of carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a focal, vocal peripheral neuropathy uh, which is represent the median nerve compression uh, which is located in the wrist area. As we see here, the transverse carpal ligament lies across the arch of uh, the arc of the carpal bones and forms the roof on the carpal tunnel, which causes the median nerve innervate the third one third of the thumb and full innervation of the index and full innervation from the bar, bar my side. So full innervation for the index and for the third uh, third third finger and one third from the fourth one. Now we are going to talk about the assessment. When you are going to assess, there is many tests we are going through to assess the carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, first test is the finals test, which we put the elbows, both elbows on 90 degrees and press for 30 seconds. The, posit the positive sign for this test is to feel numbness and pain or tingling in the wrist area. Second assessment is the tunnel sign, which is tapping over the irritated median nerve the uh, the positive sign of carpal tunnel syndrome is to feel pain and tingling in the uh, flexor uh, retinaculum. There is another test which is we with with the experience actually we get it. I'm not sure if it's standard or not. Which is to extend the index in, in to its maximum because this is the one of the fingers uh, fully innervated from the median nerve and we will feel pain tingling in the wrist area. Now we are going through the treatment. Uh, we have two types, conservative treatment and surgery. The conservative treatment, which is first include the nerve gliding exercise, which we give it to the patient as a home program exercise. Okay, nerve gliding exercise, which the patient have to extend uh, both uh, wrist and then slowly or gradually uh, put it in the neutral position and then flex it. The second one is to apply kinesio taping on the area, which we will apply it now. Uh, this is the taping that we are going to apply on the patients. We include, we cut it into the two fingers. We include the two fingers with the wrist area. When we apply the tape, we put the patient into a full extension of the wrist. Okay. Then we will uh, we apply it to the medial side. Oh. The second part, when we apply the kinesi taping, we put it in the median nerve itself, and we just support the area with the full. Usually when we assess the patient first, we ask him about the pain on the pain scale. Uh, the, tape, the effect of the kinesiotherapy pain is immediately. Uh, also the oral medication like steroid medication or the ultrasound, it's one of the conservative treatment that we are applying on the patient. Okay, the last uh, conservative treatment we, we use with the patient is the splinting. Uh, usually with the splint, we consider three points pressure on the hand. Okay, the three points pressure is the first one here and the two pressure points is here. We consider it uh, for pressure relief of the median nerve. Okay. The second option of treatment is the surgery. When, when, when you wear the splint for six weeks and the severe pain is still there, uh, the surgery is recommended. Uh, thank you for listening. This is all about the carpal tunnel syndrome. If you have any questions or concerns, I'm so happy to answer on it.